I just think it's, a, it's an adventure. It's a, it, 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 you can just get away. I mean, I'm sure when you see this and it's, and it's out there on, on, on the screen, it's, it, it, you can just get lost in it. I mean, I got lost in the book when I first read Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe. It's just, you just totally immerse yourself in this other world. And I think that's what will happen when you watch this, that people won't be able to wait till they see the next episode and, and what's going to happen next. Because we'll... I mean, a lot of us know the story, but uh, even though we know the story, it's still fascinating, it's still riveting entertainment, and, um, and the characters are very... I mean, it's, a, it's got, had a great writer who's come on board, who's really brought the characters alive, and if you haven't got them, you, if you haven't got that integrity uh, and, and the belief in those characters, then none of it works, none of the, the jungle, the, 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 the adventure works, so long as you... Uh, if you don't believe in, in these men, these women, that, that, that really bring it alive. I mean, it's a wonderful, yeah, it's a wonderful uh, action-adventure story. I'm a boy's own, and uh, I, mean, I, re I remember reading it when I was, I was young, and I remember seeing it as a, a television production, which was uh, 30 or 40 years ago, you know, a French, I think it was a French production, it was all subtitled, and, and I was about seven or eight, I suppose, at the time, and that was it. I used to watch that every, it was on, it seemed to be on about twice a week when I was a kid, you know, I used to watch it, and I was kind of fascinated by his ingenuity and, you know, how he, how he built these th these fortresses out of bamboo and twine and, 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 and sort of alleyways, and, you know, it's a real uh, boy's own thing. And then you'd see him go through these depression, despair of maybe never seeing anyone again. And, um, it, it was just a real, you know, boys own stuff. I mean, so it's, it's in some sense, it, I mean, Philip's got a great adventure ahead, a great challenge ahead, you know, to, to, to be able to play Robinson Crusoe is a, you know, every boy's dream, I think, every, every kid's dream. Yes, very much. He, he, he certainly cares about Robinson, and he, he tries to guide him through, through his early years. He's a very... Uh, He's a decent man. He's, a, he's slightly reserved in a sense, uh, and um, he, he he's very proud of, of Robinson, and he loves him very deeply. Uh, even though he might not show it at times, it's a very uh, he's quite a, he keeps him, his feelings to himself somewhat until Robinson's departure, when you see uh, his emotions uh, come to the fore, and he. Uh, you can see the the, 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 actual, the connection and the, the, the love that they have between each other as, as, a, as a, a son and a father. It's, uh, I suppose you, you don't know what's going to be happening. You don't know who's on that island or where where he is. I mean, we don't know where he is, who, who inhabits that island. But then he comes across the, the natives of the island and, and the terrors and... and, and um, and he's constantly looking for the ship that might appear on the horizon and having to retire to his room and make friends with animals and things and make things and be creative and use his imagination, his ingenuity and, and uh, you think, what would you be like in that situation? What, you know, how would you cope? How would you get through those days which he marks off all the time? And, and uh, it's, um, I know there's a certain magic about it, there's a certain real... Uh, and it's very different from anything else. I mean, the fact that it's an, an island, you know, that you don't know, as I said, that you don't know where anybody is, but the, the, there's something very, um, I don't know, it's quite spooky in some senses as well, you know, it's, uh, you don't know what's around the corner. It certainly helps when, when, we, when you, can, you can shoot a film or, or a production in, in the actual surroundings themselves, you know, I mean, this is, doubling up for London, but uh, <clears throat> I don't think that really anything exists in London of this, on this scale anymore, unfortunately, that, 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 you, that you can possibly shoot, so it's, it's, it's wonderful to be able to shoot in, 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 in here, in the Minster, and, and uh, in the shambles, and the actual places that are 600 years old in the shambles, you know, and York Minster, it, it's... Uh, it just, just gives it that added realism and, and that sense of history. It, it's, it's very, um, especially because it's, it's a period piece as well. It's uh, you don't have to do a great deal. You, you, 
you, it's all around you and you can imagine it very, very easily.